Good evening, everyone. Um, I'm Lynette with Charmed Grammy Crochet, and today is Wednesday. 17th, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I'm on vacation. I don't need to know. I only need to know when it's Tuesday next week, because that's when I have to go back to work. <laughs> so today, I don't care what day it is. Um, but I do believe that it is Wednesday. Um, and I am in Biloxi, Mississippi. And this is the best setup I could get, so that's what we're going to work with. Um, I'm having a great vacation. Thank you all for wishing me well on my vacation. We're having a very nice time. Uh, the beaches are beautiful. They're having some water issues, um, so no swimming in the ocean, which I don't do anyway. Because, you know, you could sand in places. I don't want to get sand. I have vitiligo. That's why my skin is so funky colors, and that doesn't do well in the bright uh extremely intense sun um the sun here is very like i can feel the skin burning in in just minutes so uh, i don't do the ocean uh, i love to watch the ocean from the shade <laughs> which makes the balcony here wonderful uh, and i wanted to film this outside on the balcony but it gets dark really early and it's like seven o'clock right now um and if you can see out the window pitch black so by the time we got home and I got, got back to the condo it was too dark to film outside so I was kind of bumming about that but I did want to pop on really quick um I've been crocheting a lot there's been a lot of downtime which is wonderful relaxing um drink an adult beverage kind of time which I won't show you but I will drink because I'm on vacation so you can do that on a random Wednesday right so but I wanted to share with you that I did stop in. We Googled my husband. It was all my husband. He insisted that we Google yarn stores and go to a fancy yarn store. I will admit I have never been to a fancy yarn store. And ladies and gentlemen, I have to tell you, I'm not a fancy yarn store kind of girl. Um, I was quite intimidated. I was very overwhelmed. Uh, the store was very awesome. Um, it was called the French Knot. I have a picture of the front, and I did take a little video in one of the rooms. Um, there were three women crocheting, or no, I'm sorry, knitting. I won't hold that against them. They were knitters. Uh, it's called the French Knot Knit and Crochet. Knitting first. Uh -huh. And I'll tell you, they are knitters. Uh, the one woman does crochet, but the others were like, oh, you do? So I'm like, oh, okay, that's all right. Um, they were very nice, and they did invite me to crochet with them while they were knitting uh, at their table, which was so cool. They don't do YouTube uh, too much. If they need like to work out a stitch or something and they want to do a tutorial on that, uh, they'll go on YouTube maybe and see if somebody is demonstrating a new stitch. Um, other, than, They read their own patterns or make their own up, so there's no... Uh, they don't go on YouTube for that. And they don't need the crochet community of YouTube because they have each other. And the store is open five days a week and there's always people in there crocheting together. So they have their own little community, which I thought was so very awesome. Um, and they were inviting, but my husband was in the car. So <laughs> I'm like, no, that's okay. I will not do that. Uh, and the store was nice. The store was very nice. There were... The room you walk in where they were sitting had yarn in it. Then the room behind that was the 50% off room, which was a decent sized room with a lot of yarn. And then the room next to that one was the hand dyed yarn room. Um, and the room next to that was the sock yarn room. And the room next to that was glitter and threads. And the room, the next room was needlepoint and that kind of thread. Uh, and I was like, whoa, uh, I'm very intimidated. I have to say this was not the dollar a skein yarn 50% off sale that I am used to. Um, you know, this is not Michael's and Joanne's yarn. The yarn was gorgeous. Um, and I did buy some in the 50% off room which was killing me to price because I am the, you know, give me the dollar brand 
the dollar, you know, yarn sales, and I'm in there buying the, the store out, but um, I didn't know what to buy. I didn't know how to even look at these yarns, to be quite honest with you, because um, they, I, I think I'm not, so, like, they had 100% wool, and I'm like, oh, I want to try 100% wool. I don't know that I've ever had 100% wool, and I put it, and I, and it's scratchy, and I'm like, they want $20 for this 50 ounce, or, you know, 50 grand skein, uh, skein ball, whatever, of yarn that scratches. Why would I buy that? I could get acrylic yarn that's really nice and soft for a buck. I, I don't get that. Um, and there were a lot of yarns in there that were that same way. Um, they were a lot of money and something I wouldn't wear. <laughs> like, that's not comfortable. I don't like, I don't even buy scarfy. I find scarfy to be, um, I've tried it at the, you know, the squish test a couple of times and the feel test and I find it to be scratchy. I have very sensitive, no, I'm not sensitive, delicate skin. Um, so maybe that's it and that's why I like, but like scarfy is like, ugh, I don't know. And alpaca wool, uh, wools, um, yarns were doing the same thing when they, some of them, and I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I was like kind of excited and then I'm like kind of disappointed. But I did find this yarn and I bought it in two colors. I bought four skeins. Um, this yarn is very soft and squishy and I'm like, okay, I can see why people would buy this. Um, I have a red and a green. I don't know if that's really their color names, um, but this is like chained. It's like already crocheted. Oh, you can't see it there. Can you see it up here? Um, it's like got a chain thing in there. I don't know where to put it best so you can see it. Um, and it is, let me tell you about this yarn. It is called Cascade Yarns Cloud. It is 70% merino wool and 30% baby alpaca. No scratch at all. Now this, uh oh, it's coming on hang. Don't do that. I don't know how to fix you. Um, now this is yarn that I would say, what I would expect when you get a, a wool or, I mean, I know wool tends to be a scratchy substance. Like when I was a kid, I wouldn't wear a wool sweater because it was always itchy. Um, so I kind of expect that out of wool, but then I see a lot of, you know, people, oh, this wool and it's so nice and soft. And I've never like experienced that until right now. This wool is nice and soft. And I don't know if they've got a color on here. Um, it's, it says it's made in Peru, which I never even noticed that before. Uh, it's 164 yards, 150 meters, 100 grams, three and a half ounces. It says use a 5.5 millimeter US 9 hook. Um, and it says Cascade Yards from Seattle, Washington. <laughs> so CascadeYards.com. And the color is just a number. 2109 from lot 1053. Um, and it's hanked. And uh, I went round and round in that room. Some of the stuff I couldn't figure out um, how much it was or what it was. <laughs> And I wasn't buying from the not 50% off room. I couldn't do that. I was like, oh my gosh, no. Uh, these were originally 15 and I paid 750 So that's not so bad. And the green is um, color number 2100. The French Knot is the name of the store that I was at. And I do believe they have an online presence. So you'd have to like the French Knot yarn store in Mississippi to probably find them. Um... It was, the store was amazing, and like I said, I was really overwhelmed, and I, oh, and I bought buttons. I bought two buttons, one to go with each color of the yarn, so tell me what you think. Looks good, right, if we did like a cowl with a big button. I bought two skeins of the red and two skeins of the green. I wasn't sure if I wanted to make like something red and something green, um, and this one with the green, or if I wanted to make something Christmas. And so, um, I kind of thought if I did like a, I don't know, something Christmas, Chloe wanted something red. 
but she wanted a sparkle red. She was asking me to make her something sparkly red. I made her a red cowl last year, that braided thing, um, and she loved it. And I made her a matching mittens and a uh, headband, um, which maybe one day I'll put a picture of, but not today because I don't know how to do that um, very easily. Uh, so anyway, back to the, uh, as, as uh, D says, there goes the squirrels. Um, but she's asking for something red again. So that's one of the reasons I bought red. And I know next month is um, cancer, breast cancer awareness month. And that's what my giveaway, next, uh, you know, theme is. But I do have a cousin that is suffering from breast cancer. And um, I wanted, thought maybe I would make her something special out of the really nice fancy yarns. But green is her favorite color. <laughs> So, but I did make her a blouse and I've made her a blankie and I kind of like the fancy yarn for myself. So I don't know if Rose is going to get something and if Chloe's going to get something or if Grammy's going to get something. <laughs> we'll wait and see what happens. And maybe it'll just look really pretty in my room because um, I've never spent so much money on four skeins of yarn before in my life. <laughs> Which I know if you buy hand dyed and specialty yarns, I know that wasn't a lot of money. But like I said, my major jam is let's go to the dollar bin <laughs> and buy as much as we can. So, uh, and then I did buy one other thing that I wanted to show you really quick. Uh, I bought this bag from just the souvenir shop, but it is so me. It is purple. It's uh, not as bright a purple as it's showing up here. But this is going to be my new carry my whip bag around with me everywhere. My cell phone will fit in this little pocket right here. And it's zippers, and it's big, so it holds a ton. Um, and it's purple with elephants, so it's so me. I'm like, oh my goodness, I have to buy that, and it will be my new whip bag. I have, you know, one of those fancy ones with the hole in the top, and you pull the yarn through and all that from AC Moore. And then I have just other, you know, project bags, but this is going to be the one that goes with me everywhere. Because it will hold everything, and it's purple with elephants. I'm like, oh my God, I have to have that. Or maybe it would be a purse. I don't know. Probably not. It's going to be a whip bag. It already is. So that's what I got. Now, I th now I'm going to um, end the video here, but I have attached the footage from the yarn store if you want to watch it. Uh, I do speak very little um, because the women were in the right in the next room and I was pretty intimidated and didn't want to act like I was showing off the yarn store to my YouTube channel. <laughs> um, and I thought if they walk in, I'm going to just die right on the spot. So, uh, as I said, I was very intimidated in there. I don't know how long the footage is. I did kind of look at it. Um, I'm not the best photographer in there because I, again, very overwhelmed. Um, some of the yarns were just so gorgeous. Uh, the hand dyes were you know, beyond belief. They're just beautiful hand spuns and all that stuff. Um, I didn't take any videos in any of the other rooms besides the 50% off room because I could hide behind bookcases <laughs> of yarn in there. And the other rooms were um, not so accommodating. <laughs> the yarn was just on the walls and they weren't real big rooms. So if somebody walked in, I couldn't duck. <laughs> So you didn't get any video in those rooms. Sorry. Um, I hope you enjoy watching if you want to. Uh, thanks for watching and sharing. And thank you to all my subscribers. I appreciate you so much. I wasn't going to do any filming while I was on vacation. But I just could not pass up the yarn shop. I had to show you. I had to take the video and I had to show you what I purchased. Um, so let me know what you think. Should I be generous and make for others? Or should I make something Christmassy for myself? I've never had a Christmassy something, I don't think. You know, like design special for Christmas, except those ugly Christmas sweaters that you wear to work on ugly Christmas sweater day. Um, you know, not, but nothing cool. So maybe I will make myself something cool. Anyway, again, thanks again for watching, subscribing, sharing, joining, uh, and sharing my yarn journey. And I hope you enjoy the footage if you watch it. See ya, bye. Hi, me again, just real quick. I forgot, I had the bag, I didn't even realize.
here's the store. It's called a French Knot or the French Knot, and it's in Diamond Head, Mississippi. And they do, they do have an online presence. It's www.frknot.com. If you want to check them out and look them up and see what kind of yarns they have. Um, okay, now we're done. Thanks. Bye. Look at this beautiful. Look at this. What is it? We have to do the face test. I'm in this yarn store. I think I'm going to buy a couple of these. I've never been in such a fancy yarn store. These are not a dollar a skein yarns, ladies. This is the 50% off one. Oh, I like that. It's not as bright as it looks on the camera. The storm in is called the French Knot. And I thought you might like to see it. I wonder how this button would look. Oh, I like that. That looks nice. I don't know how much they are. I love this one right here. Oops. This is a really cool yarn. And I like the button. Yarn. That's a soft. I wouldn't even know how to work with this. Look at that. You see? Like, where's the thread? Like, I wouldn't even know how to start. So much yarn. This is soft. It's like already crocheted. <laughs> it's that chained. It's viscose, cotton, linen, and polymade. I don't know how much they are. 50 gram balls. This is really interesting. Totally cool. I'm not worthy of the yarns, even in the 50% off room, ladies, I have to tell you. This one is three dollars and fifty cents, but they're all like, you know, fancy yarn. Hmm. 
look at how pretty this is. It's weird. I mean, it's not. It's like all different textures in there. Eight. Uh, look at this one. That's very unique. And this with. I, I wouldn't even know how to use that. Where do you start with that? I'm way overwhelmed, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. This isn't even the hand dyed one. I love this. I think that is just very cool. These are cottons. And other stuff. That's pretty, it's multiple colors. And look at this one. I like this. this. Those are four dollars a scheme. Well, I'm gonna be done here.